Hi guys, today's video is kind of a long one because the process itself was very long. Um, I tried to condense a 7 hour video into um, 20 minutes, I think, or probably uh, I'm aiming to have it that long. But if it's longer, I hope you're still entertained. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so I guess in this video I'll try to insert some tips and tell you what I'm doing. Um, so this sketch I actually created right when the music video came out, like the first day, um, and it was very rushed but I really actually like how it turned out surprisingly so I transferred it on top of um, watercolour paper and drew a tiger next to um, Taehyung because everyone refers to Taehyung as being a tiger, like I think it's a spirit animal. Um, and yeah, as you can tell, I'm using acrylic. Um, I do later on use gouache to help with the process, but for now I'm using acrylic. So a question I get asked is how do you work with acrylic and take your time? So obviously this took seven hours, but I still took my time blending back and forth, back and forth. Looking back at it, I definitely should have used canvas and oil paint on canvas because the time taken would have like um shrunk so much but i really wanted to use acrylic because i don't know i, I found it fun and with acrylic i just use it in layers so i block out some areas and then i add the shadows the lights um the different skin color tones etc and i kind of use it like a gouache um in some parts i did water down acrylic like um it's not oil based so you can thin it out with acrylic medium um there's acrylic medium that kind of thins it out or you can just use water i mean i use water but be careful um as it can become very patchy i use watercolor paper at first because i really wanted to use um gouache but the gouache oxidizes so much whereas acrylic doesn't whatsoever and I didn't want to <laughs> kind of like struggle with gouache. Throughout the process, if your colours start to dry up, always keep a spray next to you with water and just um, spritz the palette and it will keep your acrylics very fresh. As you can tell, like I zoomed through the skin, it's not actually complete yet. I work in sections, I go back and forth and do a um, section at a time, really, uh, because I think that's what helps me, um, especially to kind of figure out the tonal value. Um, once the eyes are set in or the skin is set in, you can really tell what colour needs to go where and what colours you need to mix. Another thing I recommend is pre-mixing some of your colours. So if you're working on the skin first, mix most of the skin colours and have a variety of acrylic paints set out such as like your primary colours that then you can mix while working on the skin to change the colour. And I think that helps a lot because especially if you're trying to get a smooth blending, um, you can use like both colours and they're both available for you and you can go back and forth and blend easier. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. I think a reason why it took so long is it wasn't because it was like a struggle, it's just me um, building up the colours and building up the contrast up to how I like it personally. As acrylic does dry quickly so it takes a lot of time to blend each part and that's why I kind of said like oil paints would have been better because obviously oil paints don't dry out that quickly and you can work very randomly and then come back to it and blend it whereas acrylic when you place it down it has to blend as soon as possible um, otherwise you'll get rough edges but I mean if you're trying to go for a very stylistic look that has a lot of texture and obviously um, 
obvious indication of fake news um i think that's the acrylics um strong suit i have been practicing um with acrylic since i was in high school and right now i'm at university actually and at that stage i didn't really know what oil paint was so i would use acrylic all the time and i would go through the troubles of it blending it turning out patchy and i think eventually i just learned i guess um and you could tell here i'll insert a photo it was recommended by my teacher i use oils but i didn't even realize like the pros and cons of oils so i literally spent hours and hours just blending with acrylic when it would have been way easier this video kind of is starting to sound like anti-acrylic <laughs> no trust me acrylic does have its pros and one pro is the final effect i really love the shiny gloss it has afterwards and how um i can't even explain the texture of it it's just very nice to feel and visually very appealing and acrylic paint is way 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 cheaper than any other medium that i found um like not going to lie for some of these areas and for some of the mixed colors i did use just like three pound um paints and everyone asks what medium i use and sometimes i do use higher end such as Windsor & Newton, Liquitex but most of the time I actually just use um, any random white paint, any random black paint um, and all acrylics kind of are the same to me like except obviously if you pick the soft body acrylics or hard body um, heavy body sorry not hard body <laughs> uh, so yeah so a tool that I might have used um, within this video is dry brushing and basically what that is is you place down a layer of acrylic, it can be two colours, it can be one and then quickly grab another brush and th the brush has to be dry, like really dry and then you just buff the two edges together and that kind of blends it very well and has a seamless look. For the highlights and shadows, I actually used gouache because I was really scared to mess it up and you can tell when I apply the light gouache that it really oxidizes so I went in over and over again to build up the layers uh, and make it brighter and same goes with the shadows. Right now the painting looks horrible <laughs> but you have to really trust the process like I said in my previous video you really 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 need to trust um, that the painting will turn out nice and you can't give up because if you keep giving up you won't know and I persevere a lot with my paintings like I wait until the very last moment to then scratch it or even refix it repaint it etc so please keep on going I found it easier to also create um, closer matching colours with the gouache. Even though it oxidises, I found that having more variety of colours in a palette helped me reach out for it more and that helped me create better colour swatches like I did with the mouth. Um, it was too pink before so I just made it more orange peachy toned uh, like it is in the picture. For the shadows, um, I didn't actually follow the um, picture 100%. Um, I just did it vaguely where it looked like the shadows were going to go in the picture because obviously if you're creating that much detail, it's going to take even longer. So I just trusted it and added like a, a colour underneath um, where the hair was going to be to go. And yeah, I actually really enjoyed how the shadows turned out. They actually ended up looking like shadows, which I'm happy about. <laughs>
And after adding the shadows, you can really tell what is washed out, what needs to be brought back forward or needs to be pushed back. So I reapplied um, some of the highlights and brought forward the features with gouache. Uh, I used gouache and I found it very nice to blend. It was really easy to blend, especially because it's water soluble. Uh, and yeah. This is my favourite part, adding all the dark bits and I used just like black paint and I outlined everything and that's when the painting really started to come together. Just contrast in general is my favourite thing to do. I think using gouache um, on top of the acrylics um, lifted the weight off my shoulder of what if I mess up because the acrylic base is there and it's um, after it dries it's basically plastic so you, it can't be reactivated and there's nothing wrong with using um, mixed media such as like pencils with uh, gouache, pencils with acrylic etc. Obviously if you're on a budget and you just want to use acrylics you can really use acrylics like gouache. There is acrylic gouache available but to me that just seems like normal gouache not going to lie. Um, and you can always thin out the acrylic but just be sure that it's permanent and you can't erase it like gouache. For the hair, I found it very, very, very fun and to get really thin um, edges and thin tapered lines, I used a flat top brush um, but later on I added more strands of hair using a very thin liner brush and I think it's from Derwent. Um, yeah, I think it's from Derwent and they've got really nice detailed brushes. Um, and I used that just to add individual strands on top of the nose, in front of the eyes and I really like the variety of strands and the thicknesses that were created with the flat brush and the thin brush. I think a really important thing when trying to work with any medium is having the correct brushes um, for each medium. Watercolour definitely has way different brushes than acrylic for acrylic. I really recommend synthetic brushes. Having all these brushes actually helped with the process for me a lot. Like, I really love to add a lot of details in my work, and the only way to get that is having very fine brushes for the lashes, for example, that I'm working on. Um, for the bottom lower lashes, obviously, if you don't have the material, you can always skip out that part, use pencils, use whatever works for you if you're using acrylic doesn't mean you need to stick to one um, medium you can always add fine liners um, use fine liners on top of it etc I also use a white gel pen to add some texture and highlights to the skin and I use it to add dots on the nose to act as a highlight underneath the eyes and on the hair strands and it really finishes the look.
So the white pen works especially well on acrylic paintings um, and that's why I kind of wanted to use acrylic because I knew that if I used gouache, the gouache would have just blended in with the white pen and I wouldn't have been able to create clean lines um, that I plan to create within the tiger hairs uh, because of all the fur and texture the animal has. Yeah. Painting the tiger was actually really fun for me as a change because I'm very strict with myself on how I paint portraits sometimes but um, painting the tiger very, like released uh, my tightness I feel like and I was very free with the strokes and colour placement and overall like colour picking. I wasn't really too fussy about having each colour perfect within the tiger and I think it turns out very nice and Overall, I did have a lot of fun with it, so I'm glad. For the tag, I worked randomly again, like I did with the face. I tried to colour in the most important parts first, so I wouldn't lose them, and started to work on the bigger sections, and I did pre-mix the colours, as you saw before. There's not much to say here, I just layered, and I used like a stippling motion to pat the paint into Ha like have a lot of texture and I built the colours in layers so I went back and forth with the light layers, dark colours and really build it up the fur and the texture etc um, and there's nothing much to say you can clearly just see what I'm doing so I'll leave you just to watch the video scared to go in with black for the details in the stripes so I used a uh, lighter colour brown and I kind of mapped it out where the black uh, colour needs to go went in with the black and it was really nice and easy because you kind of have guidelines there and I used a flat top brush to kind of create the hair strokes going down another thing I used was a watercolour pen and I really like the watercolour pen um, over the brush pen it's essentially like a brush pen but it's more liquidy and I find it works much more better than um, a brush pen so later on you'll see that um, I use it to create more hair strands The really tapered ends of the brush pen and the thinness of the white pen really gave a lot of detail.
that's it for the video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up it was a very long one and if you stayed to the end thank you very much i hope you um gathered some things that could help you in the future and enjoyed the process of painting because i know i do um like videos like this um and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i'll be sure to film more videos for you guys bye